my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 30th of January, 2019. One of my friends out of Florida sent me a rather entertaining short video. It was put up by the Doctor of Common Sense originally, and Yardley had published it on February the 12th, 2016. It only had 6,841 views when I got it. Should have had a whole lot more. And the title is Barack Obama and Mike in parenthesis, first mate. Who's bending who over? And you're going to hear and see with your own eyes. You're going to see and hear what the Doctor of Common thinks, believes, is true about Barack Hussein Obama. He used to, you know, indulge in performing oral sex on the beaches in Hawaii on white men. He went black later on, that's how he hooked up with Big Mike. You're going to see Big Mike doing push-ups with Elena Generous. And Big Mike knocks out around 24 push-ups. How many women do you know that can do 24 push-ups? Huh? <laughs> well, I don't know too many. I'm sure that there are some. But Big Mike's not one of them because he's not a woman. You're going to see Barack Hussein Obama. I actually remember seeing that when it was taking place. He was somewhere in Europe at a hotel gym. The guy's a complete joke. Absolute joke. You know what's really sickening is the American people are constantly being lied to. And that's so easy to prove. A little bit of DNA will go a long way on Malia and Sasha. Huh? Dr. Nita Blanchard, Marty Nesbitt, they're the real mama and papa. The Obamas made them godparents and they traveled everywhere that the Obamas did over the eight years that they were in the Oval Office. And the reason that is is they wanted to see their children grow. Absolutely sickening. Remember what Barack Hussein Obama said at his goodbye speech. I can't believe we got away with it. And he said it twice. Folks, the American people need to learn the truth about this dysfunctional, homosexual, transgender family. Listen to what's said by the doctor of common sense. Let me know what you think. Pass it along to your like-minded friends. It, it is somewhat entertaining, but it's also, I think, disgusting and sickening that they've been able to get away with it. Problem is, who are you going to go to? Huh? There is no one to go to. If there would have been someone to go to, this insanity would have been exposed and stopped a long time ago. That's sort of what I think. If you agree, pass it along to your like-minded friends. Repost it in all your social media accounts. Thanks for listening.